back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've filmed. You are seeing some pre-recorded videos if you've been watching lately. So I just had some time where I could sit down and film and that's what I'm gonna do. So if you didn't know, my channel is all about skincare, sunscreen, kind of being intentional consumers and just making the right choices, not all of the choices. <laughs> and today I have a fun one for you. We're gonna be reviewing two Supergroup sunscreens. So these are the Supergroup Daily Dose. So we have two different kinds. This is the vitamin C and SPF. This is the Hydra Ceramide Boost and SPF. And I'm gonna talk all about them. I'm gonna apply them to my face as I always do and kind of just go over the pros and cons, what I think about each one and, you know, let you make up your mind if you're looking into either of them. So if you're not already subscribed, do so below. I'm gonna use these as my fingers. <laughs> I'm kidding. And let's get going. Okay, so this is actually my second bottle of the vitamin C one. And the first one that I used, I have two videos on it. I have like the, my initial take on it and then 30 days of use later. I will link those above and check them out if you haven't already watched. So I repurchased this because I had been out of it and I wanted to repurchase it so I could kind of compare it to the hydroceramide. I also have a video on this. I will link it above as well. So check those out if you haven't already seen it. I'm gonna be going over some of the same details, but Let's get into the vitamin C. So this one is $46. It is one fluid ounce, not 1.7. A lot of sunscreens these days are 1.7 or 50 milliliters. So you are getting a significant amount less and for $46. Actually, they're both $46. We'll just go over the specs for both, I guess. And you can find them at Sephora. You can find them on the Supergroup website, lots of other places. It's readily available. This shouldn't be too hard to find. And both of them are also SPF 40, which is a really good amount. Most of the Supergroup sunscreens are, I would say like 35 and above, which I do really enjoy. I think that's one of the things that they do well. They give you a good amount of protection for most of their sunscreens. But in terms of the active ingredients in this, your active SPF filters, you have avobenzone at 3%, homosalate 9%, octosalate 5% and octocrylene 6%. So this is a chemical or organic sunscreen. Neither of these are mineral. They do have mineral options, but both of these are chemical. This one obviously is vitamin C. It's got 10% vitamin C, which is like a fair amount. Sometimes you'll see like 2%. 10% can be a bit sensitizing for some people's skin types. It also has 2% kakadu plum, which is a natural version of vitamin C. It's actually one of the best ones out there which I love. I think it works really well for a lot of people's skin. So I'm excited to see them put that in there. And then it also has 2% niacinamide, which helps to even your skin tone. Niacinamide is everywhere these days. I love it, but some people just like, they've had enough, <laughs> either their skin has had enough. So if you are looking for something without it, unfortunately, this one does have it in it. So it works as basically a vitamin C serum, a moisturizer, and your SPF which I do have a little bit of thoughts on and I will get to those later. And I did wanna mention again that the 10%, if you are sensitive to vitamin C, it might be a lot for you. I've never found it to be irritating. I do have others like the Ilia, their new C Beyond sunscreen. That caused kind of like tingling and weird feelings for a while. But this one I've never had any reaction to, but my skin also is not super sensitive. This out of all of the Supergoop products, besides maybe like a few, I like, the Unseen, I think that's it. This would probably be my second choice. I really do enjoy this one, but I want to talk about it as I want to talk about this one. They're, they're not sunscreens in my opinion. I think you should use them as exactly what they say, like use this as a vitamin C serum and then use this as like a, an oil, basically a hydrating oil. If you're gonna use them as your sunscreen and only your sunscreen, you're probably not getting enough protection. You might be getting some, but I would always suggest that you use the correct amount, which is a quarter of a teaspoon. So I think they've said everything about this one. Now let's talk about the hydroceramide boost. So like I said, this is also $46, one fluid ounce. This one has a little bit of a different combination of active ingredients. There is 2% avobenzone, 9% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 10% octocrylene. Still very similar, the same four active ingredients as the first one, just in different percentages. This one has ceramides in it. And then as far as the other ingredients, you have so many oils. So if your skin does not like oils, well, I feel like you shouldn't get this anyway, but if your skin like just soaks up oils, this is a good one for you. 
That said, it has some what are called like more rich and not dry oils, so they don't soak in as quickly. This one has jojoba, which is one of the, to me, like longer term oils. Like I can't put jojoba on my face because it doesn't sink in. It also has rosehip squalene, which is a light oil, which is a good one. Soybean oat castor, which is like one of the thickest oils you can put in. <laughs> that doesn't mean they put a lot, but it's definitely in there. And then sunflower, and they also put in a wax. So it's heavy, <laughs> it's thick. I would say that this one really is only, only, only for dry skin. If you have normal, you can maybe use a little, but you're using an oil during the day. It's just gonna be an oil on your face during the day. So if you can tolerate that, that's fine. But otherwise I would say only for dry skin. This one I would say is more for like all skin types. If you have super sensitive skin, you might wanna do a patch test, but that's definitely up to your skin type. Okay. All of that said, I'm gonna zoom you in, we're gonna put it on my face, and then I'm gonna tell you kind of my final thoughts at the end. All right, so you have to shake, especially for the vitamin C serum, and they say for both of these, I believe it's like six to eight drops or pumps. Okay, I have shaken the SPF and vitamin C already, and I'm just gonna start applying it. You do see that it kind of has, like it can separate a little, which is why you do wanna shake it really well. I went in with two pumps, which was, not really that much, but you see how shiny your skin looks after just two pumps. I'm gonna do a third pump, just why not? And this is what it looks like. So that is both of them applied. They obviously have quite a bit of a glow, which you're gonna get from a normal vitamin C serum and also from an oil. I just wanted to kind of talk through my thoughts on both of these. If I had to reach for one over the other and I could only afford one, which is fair because they're both $46, I would 100% choose the vitamin C one. I don't love the oil, like if it were just an oil and I just don't have a lot of use for an oil in the morning as a sunscreen. Like for me, when I use a facial oil, it's usually at night because your face looks like this, but I don't have super dry skin. My skin is pretty normal. It gets a little dry in the winter, but this is just a lot. Like even if I put some type of foundation or tint over it, I feel like I would look like a grease ball all day. So I would 100% get this one, but I also want to mention my main issue with both of these, and this is coming from someone who uses sunscreen every single day of their life. I put on a quarter of a teaspoon. I am very conscious of wearing it no matter what. I put it on my neck, I didn't do it today, but you know, I normally do. I don't love the fact, and I said this before, I don't love the fact that it's really hard to get the correct amount from both of these. Like, I think of these as what they are, vitamin C and a facial oil. I don't think of them as sunscreens. I will always use a sunscreen over using either one of them. So especially when we're thinking about the oil one, eh, that's a lot of products. Like, if I'm putting on oil all over my face and then I have to go on and put a sunscreen over it as well, like, it's a lot. And maybe I put on a matte one, I don't know, but it's just too much for me. And I do think that they, you know, it's not well communicated that you should be mixing this with something else. And then also if you're using maybe a mineral one over it, sometimes mineral and chemical sunscreens don't interact well and they can kind of cancel each other out in certain ways. So it just leaves a lot of error or room for error. And I don't love that. Now Supergoop does say like, this is great if you mix it with the unseen sunscreen. So they do say that, but then also you're paying like $80 for one sunscreen because you're using the vitamin C and then the unseen, or you could just use the unseen and be set. So those are kind of my main concerns. You can see that my skin is nice and glowy from both of them. The thing with the oil is this is gonna be like this for a long time. Like it does not sit down. It, I feel like my skin, it just sits on it. And that's why I hardly ever reach for this unless my skin is very, very, very dry. 
This one will dry down a little, but it's still gonna have like this glow. I mean, vitamin C serums, that's kind of one of the things that they do. And I don't hate it, but I just don't reach for it often because I have other vitamin C things that I like better. So these are both gonna be probably a pass for me. I mean, the oil will definitely be like, I could even give this away at this point. I probably will use up the vitamin C, but it's not like my holy grail by any stretch. So. Those are kind of my thoughts on it. I'm gonna leave this video as is, and I hope you see, like, you can get quite a bit of a glow. And I only used two drops for the oil and maybe three pumps for the vitamin C. Now, three pumps might be what people use on their entire face. But like I said, it's probably not enough protection and you should be using something on over it as well. But I hope this helps, gives you a little bit of a comparison, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.